I'm delighted to have the opportunity to visit with you today and share a little bit about how LC State is navigating these times and preparing for the fall. The first thing I want to say is that consistent with what you're hearing from uh, my colleagues, there are a whole host of readiness steps that are being taken across our college campuses. And I'll highlight a few of those when I present to you. But I, one of the messages I want you to take away is that if, if we've learned something with COVID-19, it's that now more than ever, we need educated individuals. We need a citizenry who can help navigate these troubling times and be prepared to help us find answers to how we as a society globally move forward. So we need nurses, we need educators, we, we need engineers, we need scientists, we need humanitarians, we need people that are educated. And that's where we come in, that pipeline from your work in the K-12 setting up through higher education. Also, please be assured that we are in touch with local, regional, national, experts and guidelines to make sure that we are providing a safe environment for our campus community, our students, faculty, and staff. So first of all, fall 2020, we're preparing. We are planning to be operational on time. That'll be August 24th of this coming fall. We do not plan to have a delayed opening. We will have student orientation both virtually, which at LC has been in place for a number of years already, as well as live. And because we do have the ability to accommodate social distancing for a live orientation in our facilities, we believe we'll be able to have a fully protocol compliant program that will involve admission that will include screening and hand sanitation, a program that will engage social sufficiency, and like our colleagues, we are going to be strongly, strongly encouraging that face coverings are part of our um, collective realities. And we'll be modeling that through our faculty, staff, and employees wearing face coverings. We um, will be engaging instruction in a hybrid modality. 100% of LC courses will have a um, mirror experience going on in real time through our Canvas LMS. We're making the transition from Blackboard to Canvas. It will com be complete this summer. And we will be maximizing the technology supports and functionality of that modality. Lecture courses will be uh, live and online. And we will be uh, incorporating creative solutions like split half classes where some days students are with the instructor and other days they're with the instructor and the students through Canvas in a synchronous environment. Uh, we're also modifying places and spaces across campus. We've taken our conference center offline for conferences and it will be converted to classroom with appropriate social distancing. So we're trying to make sure that we are physically accommodating a different reality, yet a effective learning environment and then also being ready by virtue of maximizing our use of the LMS in ways that whole lot more than just a syllabus and posting some content uh, will allow us to be able to pivot as needed should uh, circumstances dictate. I think what I want you to know is that we're moving beyond this notion of responding to a crisis. This is about living a vibrant, virus-ready reality because that is our reality and it's going to be this way for a while not just a matter of days or weeks but months and possibly years that means that screening will be part of our life that means that coordinating with the local health department when testing and tracing are needed will be part of our life that means campus places and spaces and occupancy modifications will be our new reality that means having lower occupancy in dorms our dorms will be operational we will be open but we will have places and spaces reserved and quarantine ready should the need arise that means protocols associated with cleaning sanitation hygiene social distancing and face coverings those are our new norms and finally, I just um, 
I, I want you to be assured that one of our big efforts is to be prepared to pivot because it would be naive, we believe, for any of us to think that we can move forward without needing to be ready to pivot if necessary to effective remote delivery. We learned a lot about how to do it on short notice in a crisis. We also learned, as my colleague Kevin Satterley said, that that isn't what students really want. They want face-to-face, -face, high touch, engaged interpersonal education. So we're gonna do our very best to make that possible with somewhat different look and feel because of the realities that we're living in. And we are also, you know, it's tough. I've been asked questions from folks. Well, can you make them not come back after they visited their parents for the weekend? There are a lot of things we can't make people do, but we do plan to try to minimize in and outs and on and offs campus to create that safe space campus environment and, and try to maintain that without a lot of opportunity for um, infection incursions uh, to permeate the environment. We'll do our best. We'll be communicating with students, faculty, and staff. We're gonna be ready, and we're gonna be ready to pivot if we need to. Thank you for the opportunity.